The Wolves and the Dogs Once upon a time the wolves said to the dogs, Why should we continue to be enemies any longer? You are very like us in most ways. The main difference between us is one of training only. We live a life of freedom. But you are enslaved to mankind who beat you and put heavy collars around your necks and compel you to keep watch over their flocks and herds for them and, to crown all, they give you nothing but the bones to eat. Don't put up with it any longer, but hand over the flock to us and we will all live on the fat of the land and feast together. The dogs allowed themselves to be persuaded by these words, accompanied by the wolves into their den. No sooner were they well inside than the wolves set upon them and tore them to pieces. Traitors richly deserved their fate. The Bull and the Calf A full-grown bull was struggling to force his huge bulk through the narrow entrance to a cow house when a young calf came up and said to him, If you step aside a moment, I will show you the way to get through. The bull turned upon him in an amused look. I knew that way, said he, before you were born. The Trees and the Axe A woodman went into the forest and begged of the trees the favour of a handle for his axe. The principal trees at once agreed to so modest a request, and unhesitantly gave him a young ash sapling, out of which he fashioned the handle he desired. No sooner had he done, he set to work to fell the noblest trees in the wood. When they saw the use to which he was putting their gift, they cried, Alas, alas, we are undone, but we ourselves, but we are ourselves to blame. The little we gave has cost us all. Had we not sacrificed the rights of the ash, we might ourselves have stood for ages. The Astronomer There was once an astronomer whose habit was to go out at night and observe the stars. One night, as he was walking outside the town gates, Gazing up, absorbed into the sky, and not looking where he was going, he fell into a dry well. As he lay there groaning, someone passing by heard him, and coming up to the edge of the well, looked down on learning what had happened, said, If you really mean to say that you are looking so hard at the sky that you didn't see where your feet were carrying you along the, uh, along the ground, it appears to me that you deserved all you got.